Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Gumpla TV. And yes, finally, it is one of the two weeks that we've been waiting for most in the month of February. That's because we have actually the... have products. No, and not just product. <laughs> we actually have like the a, biggest one of Gundam of release. The first half of the year, maybe. Yeah, I mean, well, this month we've got this release, the Master Grade, this week, and then next week there's a Perfect Grade. And also, so two if you're getting kits the girl kit right away, from Bandai. Yeah. The girl forget kid. her name. What was her name? That's next week, I think. There's yeah. another girl coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Who cares about that? We got a master what? grade. <laughs> and 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 a crawdad and, and or a mud we've bug. We've got a mud bug and cra crawdad crayfish. However you want to call it, it's still hanging around. I still got to do a review for that. But yes, finally. When was the last time I built a version cockpit? A year ago. Was it a year ago? It feels like forever. I don't even remember what the last version cockpit that was released was. I was on the show, so it must be within two and a bit years. Uh -huh. I think Maybe. Usually we, we get at least one a year, but yeah, it just it feels like it's been a while. And we have a new one. Well, it's kind of new. It's still, oh gosh, was it three years ago or four years ago they came out with the Master Grade Double Zeta? So now we finally have got the full armor Double Zeta from Universal Century 0088. From the Pazoon Incident. Of course, the famous Pazoon Oops. Incident. Do you remember the Pazoon Incident? No. Okay. Didn't think so. But yeah, What is the Pazoon cool. Incident? It's, it's, I don't know. It's, it's from the anime <laughs> series. That doesn't matter. It says it on the box though. It's, it's, it's the series that this, God I damn. haven't seen. Reviewing a product series. without knowing your stuff, Todd. Without knowing your stuff. I know. Oh well. But anyway, but yes, it looks quite awesome. It's also one of those products, again, that we've said many times over that you can order, but it may take a little bit of time. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one, I think we've, in the first, this is just released here in Japan this week, but I think maybe because it's a bit difficult for them to manufacture something this large, it takes them a little while to get cranking get on up, these yeah. things. So in the beginning, we only receive kind of a limited amount, but we continue to keep getting more months after. So if you don't get your payment request or if it doesn't come in stock for you right away, don't worry. Don't worry. Your order is on the list. And as soon as we have enough stock to fulfill your order, we will get to it. it. We'll get to them. We fill our orders in the order that we received them. So yes, right. exciting. This is going to take quite a while to put together. I imagine. Because you have to put together the that runners. double it's Zeta and then get all the weapons, but not as bad as some of the previous kits that we've had no. in the past. So, so your favorite. Yeah, LBX. we got more. Donbal Senki LBX kits. Woo! So this is one of those ones where the, the actual picture on the front doesn't really... It's hard to tell what you're building, <laughs> I think. Yeah, that one's a bit... But it's insane. It's like clear. a scorpion-esque... Can I see that yeah. thing on the sign? It looks so okay, cool. Okay, he's got a tail. That's interesting. Quite interesting. So lots of fans of the Dumbbell Senki. This is for ages six and up. That's prominently displayed on the front of the box there. Talking of motorbikes. Talking of motorbikes. You want to speak about this one next? Oh, so yeah. This is something that is quite interesting as well. I do not believe it is based on any anime series. No, it's um, a, cross a crossover from SH uh, Figure Art. Right. I think this might be the first because last year, I think it was Bandai, they combined the hobby division with the collectible figure division, Bandai Collectors, and they made Bandai Spirits. That's also when they changed the color of the Bandai logo from red to blue because yeah. it's all part of that Bandai Spirits brand. So. Now that the model line or the model company and the f collectible figure company are all just one kind of under one umbrella, they're like, hey, let's combine the two. So we've got a HG kit which combines with an S SH figure arts as it's well. It's not in the kit though. Not in the kit. So it says sold separately. She is the um, Tamashi girl Aoi. Mm. So the Aoi is blue, right? That would be blue. blue. So it's the blue girl. Blue girl, we got a blue kit. Blue girl, blue kit. And the funny thing is, she is not blue. She's uh, in black, but her hair is blue. So I guess okay. that's where it comes from. But anyway, um, I'll take a picture of this and show you what kit I'm talking about. Cause it's very figure? small. Yeah, so uh, that's, sorry. That's it's cool. a figure, yeah. What, what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, I've, I'm glad that they're starting to combine these different right, parts well. of Bandai across each other well, it is kind of interesting but one thing i my my reservation with this kind of idea is bandai hobby the model kits 
If you want to buy one of these two years, three years, five years, ten years down the line. You probably can. Heck, even 30 years down the line. And actually, speaking of which, right now tangent on time. our tangent time. Right. Actually, last week we've got a notification from Bandai that they're going to be reissuing because now it's the 40th anniversary. So they're reissuing a whole bunch of the old kits from the, the original original release Bandai kits, the 19, the 1-100 scale non-grade glue kit. There's You need to paint it, but yeah, those ancient Gundam kits, they're reissuing a lot of them and we are taking pre-orders for them. There should be a link on the site Amazing. for... A group of those kits that are going to be reissued including the 172nd scale one that has the inner detail that one that kit's quite cool but yes they are all quite ancient so they don't not nearly as good as the current kits but i mean that's i mean gosh yeah it's almost 40 years since that kit was released and they're reissuing they're it so maybe 40 years after this kit is released there's a chance bandai might put it back into production at some point but the figure Generally. The figures, the SH figure arts, usually that stuff, like... One can, time only. One time, they don't really reissue it because I, the molds are in China and I don't know how much of the molds they actually save for the figure art stuff. So now you can buy the figure. You'll have a chance to buy the figure, but maybe 20, 30 years down but the line, the only thing you'll be able to buy is this uh But it's the, um, it's the SH figure arts, like, and they're all the same scale generally. Mm. So even if it's not that girl, you could probably put something else in there. You could work it, Hell, but I mean, you could if even you put want Star Wars Ray on there or something like that. Yeah, but if you just want the proper set, then oh might yeah, be, you're not going to be able to. do You it. might be out of luck, but who knows? I mean, who knows? Maybe by that time you'll just be able to three D print one in like thirty seconds. Oh yeah, yeah, who knows? <laughs> who knows what the future brings? All right, so okay. we still have one more to talk about. What yes. is that? And. No, it's not the same as last week, but Are yes, sure? it is another Ultraman. It and is funnily Ultraman. enough, um, <laughs> oh, Todd's going to bring one. it out. But uh, I'm currently putting together this one. Yeah, they want to build this one. So it's uh, all the runners and stuff are here. I haven't finished it yet. Um, but uh, this one is the new Suit Tiger, which okay. is cool. Um, the last week's one was that weird one that we said that was limiter. Limiter! It's <laughs> a it's limiter release Ultraman version. Ultraman type one. This might be a collector's. If, that was, if that's actually a, a type one, it's supposed to be limited. I could have sold that Then for this is going to be quite the collector's item. Son. It's on our site as limiter, so I'm not too okay, sure. Okay, maybe, maybe it's just their fancy new term. Band limited was not good enough no. for Bandai. They have to make their own brand new limited words. So. But anyway, this suit tiger, it's also quite spiffy on my RSA. It's now got nice, that, Dave? nice shiny purple parts. So looking in the box, it's actually got more, it seems to be more runners than the other, other kit, but, but it's got yellow parts and a light, so we're all good. No way. Todd. Todd, yes. I know you're disappointed because <laughs> it's got stickers. Ah, uh, those are some pretty beefy stickers, but unfortunately, on all these Ultraman kits so far that we've had, we've put together, you have the chest piece that is loads of different colours, and they're meant to be metallic, but they print it in like one metallic colour, and everything else is added on with stickers, and it yeah. sucks ass. Okay, so coming up, we um, will have some Ultraman reviews. I'll do them both in one. Ultraman um, review, crayfish we've got review. The, Faz review. Faz review, but who knows how long that's actually going to take <laughs> to yeah, right. complete it. No, it's so not I, an but easy I, kit. I, it's not an easy kit. I actually, I have this box here, but this isn't the box that I'm building. I actually took one home. I took the yesterday. one home yesterday just to get started on it. So I've got like the chest finished. But yeah, the arms and the weapons, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take me a while. Plus this weekend is Valentine's weekend. Today is so happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. For We're actually all of filming our viewers out there. Just about five hours before this is going to go out, or maybe a little bit more, but yeah, maybe about the time it goes live, it'll be Valentine's, Valentine's Day in the U.S. In the U.S. So cool. So happy Exciting. Valentine's happy Day! Happy Valentine's Day! Get, you, get your girlfriend a nice red crayfish Crawf model. Yeah, exactly. Crawfish, crayfish. crayfish. I call it crawfish, but crawfish. Okay. Yeah. Well, crawfish, crawdad. When I when I grew up, it was crawdad. So there what you else? Have it. What else is there, Dave? You want to show off your fancy st sanding sticks? Dave's yeah. going crazy with the sanding No, I'm sticks. just trying to like get those knobs out. Look, this is so polished. I could. Yeah, it's anyway. four thousand grit. Well, don't put it on your nose. You're gonna get oils all over it. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm clean. These are premium. This is from the Infini brand, made in Korea. They're quite nice, actually. I think these are still available for 
order on the site. Now that Dave's mentioned them, of course, he's going to put a link in the description below for these too, aren't you, Dave? That's your job. <laughs> he's so going to do let's, it, um, let's think uh, what else we've got to review. So we've got... Are you going to make, build that or not? Yeah, we're kind of, we're kind of interested to knock this one out. It's about the same size as an H. Well, I mean, it is HG, so that one shouldn't take too long to well, knock out. Well, if we get that and we've got stock with the Aoi, we'll have to take that out as well. I actually have an Aoi on order. Oh, is it not out yet? I haven't checked. Okay. But I, 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 order, I put an Aoi on order because, yeah, I, I knew about this thing beforehand, so... I think this is awesome. So I put the alley on order. I it's going to be a bit of a order, hassle so. to review because it's got two two um, phases. But yeah, right. So we'll have to see. Maybe we'll wait until we get the figure, and then we can review it after the figure comes in. So, but anyway, we are rambling quite a lot. We are indeed. Do you want to say anything about um, maybe that we're changing stuff up? I don't know. Do you want to say anything about that? Well. Well, we've already mentioned in the previous videos before. Comment their prize giveaways now just once a month, 5,000 yen. Yep. If you want to enter to win 5,000 yen, Hobby Link Japan store credit. All you need to do is comment on any of the videos uploaded in the month of February. And the first Gunpla TV episode that we do at the beginning of March, we'll choose a comment from the February episodes, and yep. that winner will win 5,000 yen. And maybe, maybe, maybe. And maybe. There'll be a little bit of change in this. Ah, they want to change around the studio a bit, but uh, yeah. no guarantees. We no have guarantee. to see. It's That's all about budget. <laughs> budget and time. Yeah. I think time For is sure. kind of more of a issue. But sorry, guys, we're taking your time, so I think we'll yes. finish it. Sorry, sorry. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you again next week with a big, giant, perfect grade sitting on this table, hopefully. Hopefully. So, something else to look forward to. What about my girl kit? And that, too. Ah. <sighs> Okay, see you guys.